Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kazoo here, and welcome to episode 21 of Skin Into Glory. And uh, in the previous episode, we started our way of in Division 3, ended up playing three games, won all of them, and uh, that means we pretty much got the perfect start to a new division. So, um, hopefully, we can carry that on in this episode. So, uh, going on what will be the first game, we came against a guy who was playing with a guest, and he also had a really strong side, a decent Premier League team with some uh, great informs, and he also had a legend as, as a center back, uh, 90 rated Nesta. But I have to say, his stats are actually a letdown. So um, yeah, I wasn't really too sure what to expect from Nesta because I think it was the first time for me playing against him. And you can see after 15 minutes, we already picked up a penalty after some great stuff from Douglas Costa, some great skill moves, put my opponent on the wrong foot and uh, we ended up picking eight penalties. So uh, the captain Costa steps up for it and he slots it home, makes it 1-0 after 15 minutes of play. Then uh, we continue on 45th minute after we completely dominate the first half. We managed to pick up a corner and we do make a 2 0 with our centre back, Rudiger. A bit, of a, a bit of a weird goal, but I have to say it was, it was more than deserved that we actually made a 2 0 because you can see from the stats, we had so many chances and we only scored two goals. So uh, in the second half, I definitely want to kind of turn it around a little bit and obviously score more and more goals. So uh, 53rd minute we go. He made a foul with Ogbonna and then after it, this happened. Connection has been lost with your opponent. I'm not too sure if he actually decided to leave. Um, if he just decided to rage quit or something or he actually lost connection to the EA servers. But um, yeah, we end up winning the game with a rage quit. Three points in the back again. So um, a great, uh, great start to this episode as well. Then uh, moving on, what will be the second game of the episode? Come up against, uh, once again, a really strong side. This one... Just looks incredible. Really strong Premier League team with Ibrahimovic, uh, the OTW version of uh, Kante, also Hazard, who's most likely going to be uh, the player of the month there uh, this month, which is uh, pretty exciting. And um, Willian as well as his right winger. So uh, straight from kickoff, we uh, we were on the attack again. And you can see right there, I was just waiting for the one-two pass with Douglas Costa. And you can see it right there, a brilliant ball to him. And then a great shot across goal, making it 1-0. Bit of a weird shot, I have to say, but um, it was a really nice finish and uh, just a really nice outplayed goal. Then 18th minute, Quadrado in the ball, cuts in with some skill, was plays it on through to Allen. Unfortunately, Courtois manages to save it between his legs and uh, no 2-0 there. Then uh, we continue on 26th minute, another chance here with Muriel, cuts in with the Burbis fin, goes for a finish shot this time, a really easy save there for Courtois. And the whole first half was just pretty much for us. Uh, 45th minute here, going with a long shot with Asamo. I was hoping that it would go in. It was very, very close though. Then uh, we move on 58th minute uh, in the second half. We had some, uh, some stuff going with Quadrado. Then we pick it up here with our right back, Perez. Pick it up again with Quadrado. Go with a really nice body feint to beat the defender. Go with the reverse Elasco to beat two defenders. And then a great shot into the back of that. Courtois was close, but uh, we scored from it. And I have to say, really, really nice goal to uh, actually extend the lead in this game more deservedly. Then uh, we move on 63rd minute. Again, us on the attack here with Muriel. A nice pass there in between the defenders to Perotti. I thought this was going to be the 3-0, especially with his 5-star weak foot. But it went wide. I think the goalkeeper just got a touch on it as well. So a big, big save there from him. Then a uh, 73rd minute, again uh, on the right hand side, Quadrado with some skill moves, we lose the ball. And then immediately after it, he went on the counter here with Ibrahimovic. A bit of note, I sure believe, you can see it right there, pass it back to uh, Kante. Then he plays it on back again to Ibrahimovic, who turns around, goes for the finish shot and actually makes it 2-1. to one. And with 15 minutes play, he was actually like setting a lot of pressure on me. And I was kind of nervous going into those final minutes, I just want to make it 3-1 so, so bad. And we were very, very close with Muriel. Again, a good save there from Courtois, who uh, definitely kept him into the game because you're going to see it coming. He actually makes it 2-2 here with Sterling. I couldn't believe it. I seriously couldn't believe it. Like, I had that big chance with Perotti, which he completely blew. And then all of a sudden, 2-2 in the 90th minute as well. It was, it was just the worst timing, basically. So I made some changes towards the end, as you can see right there. I want an ultra-attacking. But unfortunately, it wasn't enough. Uh, the referee decided to blow in his whistle. And that meant we uh, we drew a game, which I felt was very unnecessary. Stats-wise, we did dominate. I have to say, though, that my opponent definitely got back into the game. So uh, he did deserve a little bit more than he actually did uh, compared to the first half, where he just didn't create anything. But still, 2-2. I felt we should have won that game. But um, I'm actually glad that we actually got a really good start to this uh, to this division already. So, like, wasting points, I don't think it matters that much. Anyway, going on what will be the final game comp against a really strong French side with also once again a legend and also a couple November cards. And this guy had just an incredible team with also Lacazette, who uh, you will see in a couple seconds. He definitely showed up for my opponent because the way he scored 
like especially this first goal was crazy already like a shot across goal and seriously just no chance for my goalkeeper Diego Alves I mean you can see from the replay too really really nice finish from just a crazy angle as well so I knew I was prepared I knew I had to like keep an eye out on, on Lacazette but then a few minutes later he did the exact same thing again this one was a little bit nicer though especially with that skill move and also the shot just looked a bit different but again that, that Lacazette guy, he just completely showed up for my opponent and just completely destroyed me in the first 30 minutes, really. So, um, yeah, I knew, uh, I knew I had to, like, step up my game a little bit more in, uh, in this game. And uh, you can see right there, we do score a beautiful goal with Martial. Really, really nice outplayed. Uh, you can see it from the replay. I decided to show you again because I just love this goal, especially that back heel from Renarfa. And then uh, just a great finish with Martial with his weaker foot. So uh, we kind of got ourselves back into the game 2-1. Obviously still not fully because this guy had just a ridiculous team. And still Lacazette. And before you knew it, he was there again. Just sprinting one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. I thought of bringing him out. But yeah, he went with a finesse shot again. This time with his weaker foot though. To complete his hat-trick and make it 3-1. So um, yeah, two goal difference again. It was going to be a really, really tough second half. We move on 61st minute, some great one-two passing here between uh, Ben Arfa and Remy. And you also notice that he kept on slide tackling me, but uh, we got away with it. We beat the defender here with the McGeady spin. And then a great finish from the main man, Ben Arfa, making it 3-2. And uh, once again, get ourselves back into this game. Then 69th minute from a free kick, he picked it up here with his uh, legend uh, defender, Desai. And he just decided to randomly go on a run, and I just couldn't stop him pretty much. But then Semedo there pushes him uh, off the ball and I immediately went on the counter because I looked on the radar and I saw a big gap. Uh, of course also because his uh, defender Desai was away. So we played on through to Remy, a perfect first touch and a perfect finish as well to make it 3-3 and uh, make it all even again in this game. So uh, from being like completely destroyed in the first few minutes... We, uh, we got ourselves back to a 3-3 and we actually still had a chance of winning the game because there was still a few minutes left and we set so much pressure that we actually dominated those minutes. And you can see uh, we actually picked up two corners too where we actually got big chances from here as well with, uh, with Martial. A good header, a really good save there from uh, Yoris as well. Then we picked up another corner and this is where he pushed it forward and actually picked it up with Lacazette. And I mean, if you look at his stamina bar, he had not a lot of stamina left, but look at him sprinting. I mean, it was just crazy. So as I let my goalkeeper out. I was so, so lucky that he actually didn't go with the chip shot because if we went with the chip shot, he would have 100% guaranteed actually scored that goal and uh, we would have lost it. So um, yeah, 90th minute we go. There was still some time left. He picked the ball up here with Ben Arfa. Some great skill moves, a nice scoop. Then we go inside the box. I want to pass it across. We pick it up with Martial. And then at the same time, we get fouled by Koshel in the end. He gets his player send off. But more importantly, we got a penalty in the 90th minute. And at the time, I seriously don't know why I got the penalty because I was so focused on getting the ball with Martial. So we picked up a penalty. Ben Arfa, the one who actually got fouled, steps off for it. And I seriously was so nervous. So um, we step off for it. We went through in the middle and we actually scored. I mean, when I scored this goal... I was so freaking happy, especially since I completely blew that previous game where we end up drawing like in the 90th minute as well. And this time we actually do score in the 90th minute. So you know how it goes in FIFA. It can go your way or it can go your opponent's way. And this time it went both ways pretty much if you obviously uh, take those two games. But anyway, guys, that's where we're going to end off this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. Would be very much appreciated. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.